Hey guys, hope you're well. In this video, we're going to test out something that just came out. Well, not really, but about two weeks ago, Google released this new product called Cloud Run. And here's a documentation for it. This is actually the landing page for their new product. So the idea behind Cloud Run is that you take your Docker containers, take those images, and you're able to instantiate them on the serverless um, platform and have them run automatically. So they're HTTP and they're stateless. So you can access them using, let's say, a, a URL, an HTTP URL that Google gives you. So the benefit of this is that you can set up any application, deploy it within seconds, have it up and running, test it out, do whatever you want, and you can take it down or keep it running. So it's a quick way in which you can get your services, your containers up in the cloud and make them available for the whole world or for your entire organization just to test out a particular feature. So in my opinion, I think Cloud Run kind of fits between your GKE, which is pretty platform heavy. So you kind of need to know a little bit of how to deploy application GKE. And you have these fault tolerant applications because of Kubernetes and kind of towards cloud functions, right? So between GKE and cloud functions, where cloud functions are these light, you know, single functions, single uh, purpose, highly modular entities that you just call within a, that you just call with a particular HTTP endpoint and they do some work for you. So it kind of sits between the two, almost near App Engine. Um, and so there's kind of some debate like, okay, where does App Engine go or whatever it is? But anyway, in this simple video, we're just gonna test something out. So I'm, let me just open my console here. Um, so this is the application that we've been de developing for quite a while. And just a simple application, it's written in Go. Here's the actual file. In previous videos I've uploaded, we've actually go went through how we you know, created the actual application. It's just a server that's serving on port 8080 and it's um, outputting information regarding, you know, it's a hello screen that has a date as well as some nice image to show. So it's like a proof of concept and we're, we've been deploying this on different platforms on Google Cloud from Compute Engine to App Engine um, to uh, Kubernetes or GKE. And today we're gonna deploy this on Cloud, on Cloud Run. Let's get to it. So the application is running, I'm just gonna close this. We also made a Docker file, so that's how we're gonna get everything up there. And this is kind of like the build steps on how we're gonna get our image. So I've already uploaded this particular image to container registry. You can check that link. I'm not gonna do that in this video. What I'm gonna do is let's go to my console. So I'm gonna navigate to my console. I'm gonna go click that. And within my project that I've been using, let's go to compute. So let's scroll down here and select cloud run. So within Cloud Run, um, we can see this little page here. It seems like there's a table in which we can actually go ahead and create a service. Now let's create a service. Let's see what's there. All right, so we get the ability to select our container image. Now, if you guys have followed my previous videos, I made one called Welcome App, and version 1.1 is the one we actually want to use. Let's select that one. Um, you guys may have different apps or whatever it is. So, yeah. Oh, Google also gives you an option to run this Cloud Run Hello just to test it out. So go ahead and do that. We'll leave the name as is and the location because we're it's part, I think, of the US region, we actually deployed in the US region, um, it's giving us the US region to deploy this Cloud Run instance just to minimize latency. Imagine having one in Tokyo and one in the US, massive latency with regards to trying to start up your image because you have to pull it all the way from the other side of the world. Authentication, yes, we do want um, this API to be public for the entire world to see. Um, let's see what other options they are. Memory allocated to 56, I think that's fine. So the idea is, hey, Cloud Run, you can have multiple of these instances spread out across your region, um, all having like, kind of like some confined resources. So a bit of CPU, a bit of RAM here and there. This is very reminiscent of Cloud Functions if you guys have used that. Um, let's see, environment variables, we don't need any. So let's leave that away and click create. I'm not gonna edit this part of the video. Let's see actually how fast it takes to create this. So it seems like it's creating a revision and it's gonna start routing traffic. So that looks like it's done, let's click it. There we go. Our app is up and running. Now let's give it our flag, my name. Yep, it's up and running. Perfect. That's how it's supposed to be. And there you have it, guys. Um, cloud run. Simple. Running container, stateless applications deployed very quickly to the cloud. So I can see use cases for this. Like you want to test something in the cloud. How's it going to respond? Deploy it immediately. Create a Docker image, upload it to GCR, um, the IO, you know, deploy with cloud run. Another use case I see is having your entire CI CD process run on a cloud run container or multiple containers. And you can limit the, the access to it, you know, by firewall rules and whatever. So it's a fast way to deploy applications. You have an idea, let's set it up, let's throw it up there. So cloud run just seems to be a quick, kind of like an in-between between app engine and cl cloud functions. You know, it's single purpose, but it can just do a bit more than cloud functions, but a little less than app engine. So if you guys are trying to straddle what line to kind of feel, I think that's kind of like a good description of where it, it kind of sits. So that's been cloud uh, run and yeah, we'll test other stuff out. Thanks for watching.